The seven judge bench of the Supreme Court commenced hearings on January 9 addressing a long standing dispute concerning the minority character of Aligarh Muslim University. This legal wrangle, spanning almost 57 years, has undergone multiple adjudications across various courts. So, now let's delve into understanding this long running legal dispute of Aligarh Muslim University. What is the minority character of an educational institution? The heart of the matter revolves around Article 31 of the Constitution empowering religious and linguistic minorities to establish and administer educational institutions. This provision underscores the government's commitment to supporting the growth of minority communities by ensuring non-discrimination in aid provision to such institutions. So when and how was AMU set up? AMU's roots can be traced back to the Mohammedan Anglo-Oriental MOA College founded by Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan in 1875. Initially established to address educational disparities among Muslims and prepare them for government services, MOA College evolved into AMU in 1920. So when did the university's minority character come under dispute? The legal dispute over AMU's minority status dates back to 1967. The Supreme Court, led by then Chief Justice K. N. Vanchu, scrutinized amendments made in 1951 and 1965 to the AMU Act of 1920 during this landmark case. These amendments reshaped the university's governance, notably shifting the role of the head of the university from the Governor General of India to the visitor, later identified as the President of India. Moreover, alterations allowed non-Muslims to join the university court, curtailed the authority of the university court and augmented the powers of the executive council of AMU. Petitioners argued that Muslims, as the founders of AMU, possess the right to manage it. However, the top court in its ruling on October 20 in 1967 underscored that AMU was neither established nor administered by the Muslim minority. The court emphasized AMU was established through a central act to ensure the government's recognition of its degrees. So while the act may have been passed as a result of the efforts of the Muslim minority, it does not imply that the university under the 1920 act was established by the Muslim minority, the SE ruled. Additionally, the Supreme Court noted that the university court's election involved an electorate not exclusively comprised of Muslims. But then why does the dispute persist? The aftermath of the Supreme Court's ruling in 1967 set off nationwide protests among the Muslim community. Responding to the outcry, political authorities made a significant concession in 1981 by introducing an amendment to the AMU Act, unequivocally affirming the university's minority status. This amendment explicitly declared the institution as an educational institution of their choice established by the Muslims of India, subsequently incorporated as the AM. In 2005, the AMU implemented a reservation policy earmarking 50% of seats in postgraduate medical courses for Muslim candidates. However, this policy faced a legal challenge in Allahabad High Court, which in the same year overturned the reservation and nullified the 1981 Act. Subsequently, in 2006, a set of eight petitions contested the High Court's decision before the Supreme Court, setting the stage for a renewed legal battle. Fast forward to February 12, 2019, a pivotal moment arrived when three-judge bench presided by then-Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi referred the matter to a seven-judge bench. The proceedings resumed on January 9 with the current bench led by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur and including Justices Sanjeev Khanna, Surya Kant, J.B. Pardiwala, Dipankar Datta, Manoj Misra and Satish Chandra Sharma commencing the crucial hearing on this complex and long-standing case.